Hey Jake with BNH. Today we're taking a look at the highly anticipated Mavic 3 from DJI. It's been three years since the releases of the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom, and fans of this compact line of drones will not be disappointed after the wait. The Mavic 3 has a host of new camera and flight features that make it worthy of being called a flagship drone by DJI. New features include a dual camera setup that includes a 20 megapixel, 4 thirds Hasselblad sensor capable of shooting up to 5.1K video and a 12 megapixel camera with a tele lens that shoots 4K video and offers up to a 28 times hybrid zoom. These impressive camera specs combined with an overabundance of flight features and modes such as an enhanced omnidirectional sensor array, extended battery life, and a brand new controller make the Mavic 3 one of the most impressive prosumer drones DJI has ever created. Upon release, the Mavic 3 will be available in two configurations, the Mavic 3 Base model and the Mavic 3 Cine model. Unlike the Mavic 2, which made users choose between two distinct models with different cameras, the differences between the Mavic 3 models aren't as drastic. While both models feature dual cameras, the Cine model features an Apple ProRes 422HQ recording codec along with 1TB of internal storage compared to the base model's H.264 and H.265 recording codecs with 8GB of internal storage. Having two distinct cameras in one drone is definitely the draw-dropping feature here. The primary camera on the Mavic 3 has a 20 megapixel Hasselblad 4 thirds CMOS sensor. This is a larger sensor over the Mavic 2 models, which featured a 1 inch and a 1 over 2 thirds inch sensor. It also features a variable aperture range from f2.8 to f11 and a field of view of 84 degrees. The max resolution has also gone up. You can now shoot 5.1K at 50 frames per second and 120 frames per second in DCI 4K. The second camera built into the housing has a 12 megapixel half inch CMOS sensor that will shoot 4K at 30 frames per second and has a tele zoom feature. This hybrid zoom can punch in 28 times and allow you to get closer to the action than ever before. The Mavic 3 also features an improved dynamic range of 12.8 stops. Couple this with the ability to shoot in the 10-bit D-Log color space and you're going to get more natural gradations of sky coloring and better retention of details for greater flexibility in post-production. Beyond imaging, the Mavic 3 features an improved omnidirectional obstacle sensing system that can detect and avoid obstacles in all directions by taking advantage of the drone's horizontal, upward, and downward vision systems. This also improves the return to home feature, optimizing the route back to its home point. Despite obstacle-rich environments, the Mavic 3's APAS 5.0 system will sense obstacles in all directions and continue flying effortlessly around them without disrupting the video capture. The O3 Plus transmission system has also been updated, providing a 15 kilometer max transmission range and a more stable signal for less video lag. This upgrade also makes the Mavic 3 DJI's first ever drone able to transmit a 1080p 60 frames per second live feed. This means that the camera view is displayed at specifications close to what the camera can actually record. The new high capacity battery on the Mavic 3 extends flight time up to 46 minutes in ideal flying conditions. When flying a drone, every minute of flight time is crucial, especially if you are planning a composition, mapping out a route, and attempting to execute your shot all on one battery. The wind resistance of the drone has also been improved by 35%, helping to reduce the amount of drain on the battery. Depending on whether you get the base model or the Cine model, you'll get a different controller for the drone. The base model comes with the RCN1 remote controller. This is the same controller used with the other models for DJI, such as the Air 2S. The Cine model comes with the RC Pro remote controller. The RC Pro features a 1000 nit display and supports longer video transmission ranges than the RCN1. Additional features include Wi-Fi 6, quick transfer for increased file download speeds, and intelligent flight modes such as ActiveTrack 5.0 and Master Shots for enhancing your creativity. My time with the Mavic 3 was brief, but it was definitely the most fun I've had flying a drone. I can't wait to get my hands on it again and really push the new features to their limits. But where do you plan on taking the new Mavic 3? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Jake with B&H. Just keep flying.